What is the specialization of tissues? The specialization of tissues is the process of organ organisms evolving from having no true tissues to having increasingly complex anatomies with increasingly specialized cells, tissues, organs, and systems. What do we mean by this? Well, organisms with no tissue specialization include the sponge from the phylum periphera. The sponge is categorized as having relatively primitive developmental characteristics as an animal because the cells are relatively unspecialized, meaning they don't have specific functions. Think of a ball of clay. When that ball of clay lacks shape, it is unspecialized. When it's shaped into a bowl or a robot, it is now specialized. An example of this is looking at you know, different types of cells. There's skin cells, muscle cells, nerve cells, and so on. Um, and these are specialized because they have specific functions. Um, in addition, the sponge also um, lacks, in addition to lacking specialized cells, they, um, they also have no true tissue because these unspecialized cells do not link together in one working uh, functional form. Categorized very differently from sponges, Flatworms developed specialized cells. They also developed complex organs. But this, stopped, um, this complexity stopped at complex organs because they don't have complex organ systems. Humans and mammals got luckier. They exhibit um, all forms of specialization, every single one seen here on the left. Mammals have cells, tissues, complex organs, and complex systems. The more complex the organism is in terms of its anatomy, the more likely it is to be further along the evolutionary chain.